All right, today we're gonna to cover how to stop the drifting uh, when moving around the planet, uh, and also how to correct the foot IK so that it properly traces towards the planet instead of just uh, in the negative Z direction. All right, so our first issue that we're gonna solve is the drifting. Um, to show this, if I press forward, the character starts moving, but if I let go of the input, he keeps moving. If I move backwards, then let go, he's still moving. So to solve that, let's go into our base character. And then click on character movement and search for braking. You'll see braking friction factor. For whatever reason, when we parent to the GP gravity character, this changes to zero. So I'm just gonna set it to two. You can set it to whatever you are, whatever you think is best. Um, but we also need to change it in one other location. So you can just search for braking. And then on landed, you'll see that it's changing the braking friction factor here as well. So change these values however you think is, is best for your character. Um, but yeah, this is the one that you wanna change, zero. Maybe you wanna change these two, but that's, per, that's up to you. So now as I move, I let go, he stops. Seems a bit abrupt for me, so I'm going to bring it down a little bit. Uh, let's let's try 0.5. Uh, maybe one. Yeah, that seems that that seems close enough for me. And that's all you have to do for that first issue. That's pretty simple. So let's save that. The other issue we have is when we move around the planet uh, away from uh, the top of the planet. Uh, if you look at the feet, you can see that it's doing some weird stuff here. And that's because we're not tracing to the feet correctly. So let's go to the Atom BP. Actually, it might be faster to go this way. Uh, in your base character mesh. Oh, nope, I lied, Never mind. Let's go to Blueprints Character Logic, I think. Forget where this is every time. Character Assets, Mannequin, there we go. Um, all right, ALS Anim BP is the one we want. And then we want to look for our foot IK logic. So an update graph, I think it's going to be this. So an update foot IK. Sorry, not that one. Um, set foot offsets, I believe it's this one. Yep. So here's this line trace. We show what it is tracing. So you can see right now at the top of the planet, it's tracing down towards the surface. But as we move further and further away, it starts to trace pretty much tangent to the world. So we need to correct that to make sure it's always pointed towards the planet. 
All right, so we need to replace all of these. Let's start here. So this part, we can just copy and paste. That's gonna remain the same. But this isn't true. Uh, we, we don't necessarily always want this Z vector. Uh, we don't always want, sorry, Z for this vector. Uh, and X and Y for this. But to make it simple, we can recombine these. And instead of doing any quaternion stuff, we can do what we did in the last video uh, and convert these in local space, then make our vector, then convert it back to world space. And that will be our pro proper IK foot floor location. So let's do that. Let's get world transform so this is going to provide that transform for this inverse transform location and then at this point we are here so let's split these and make the vector. It'll be the same as this, so X, Y, and then Z from this one. But we're still in local space, so we're not quite here yet. We need to convert it back. So transform location. And then that's ready. So we can plug this in. And we can delete that. I'm going to drag silver to make some room. And now we need to convert this one. So we have that floor lo location. This should be correct. Um, but we need to trace at some point above it and some point below it. This value or this uh, variable is saying we want to trace from 50 centimeters above the floor to 45 centimeters below the floor. Uh, actually, is this floor location or is this? Well, either way. Um, but this is saying just take that location and add to Z and subtract from Z. Uh, and that's not our case when we're like on the side of the planet. Uh, that's going to be a problem. So we need to convert this to point in the direction of of the floor. So let's take these two. Uh, let's get our character reference. Get character. That's in our variables. It's already in uh, ALS by default and then get actor up vector. So this is a normalized vector that will point straight up. So we can take that value and multiply it by this, and that will give us 50 units in this direction, like upwards from the character, no matter where on the planet we are. And this will give us, doing the same for the other one, this will give us 45 uh, centimeters in the same direction, upwards, but we'll subtract that so that it's downwards. So get this floor location and vector plus vector. We'll add that. That's our start. And then vector minus vector. And then that's our ending position. So this replaces that one, and this one replaces that. We can get rid of these. All right, that should be correct. So let's test it.
Let's go somewhere about halfway. And there we go. It's still still tracing in the correct direction. Of course our feet are going really weird, but we have the traces corrected now. All right, let's check out some of the other things over here and see if these need to change. So impact point, that doesn't, that won't matter. Impact normal, that's fine. Uh, and find the difference in location from the impact point and the expected flat floor location. These values are offset by the normal multiplied by the foot heights to get a better behavior on angled surfaces. Let's see, impact point, we're going to add that to impact normal scaled, that's fine, uh, subtract IK floor plus, mm, uh, put height and then scaled along Z. So that probably needs a change. Char get character. Get actor up vector pointed away from the floor. Yeah, let's try this. that really did but I'm pretty sure that needs to change and then calculate the rotation offset by getting the a tan uh, of the impact normal yeah that definitely has to change so let's get character Um, just gonna copy this up here. And then, hmm, and get actor forward vector and get the right vector, get actor right vector. And then we can use this impact normal, or sorry, um, yeah, the impact normal. And we can dot product this, or forward. And our right vector. And then, yeah, let's say tan from there. I think that's right. These might be backwards, but. Let's make a rotator. This will be, oh, oops. So I think roll and pitch. And that can stay at zero. Ah, <laughs> that worked. Yeah, there we go. Cool. Well, that's those two issues solved. And if you have any questions, let me know.